Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. Notwithstanding, wait a minute, am I at the right chapter? Nope. Revelation chapter 3. Uh, here we go. Uh, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Amen? Knock and it shall be open. Okay? Knock and it shall be open. Romans 10, verses 9 and 10. What does that tell us? If any man will confess with their mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in their heart that God is raised from the dead, thou shalt be what? Saved. That's how you get saved. Confess with your mouth, believe in your heart on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Verse 13 says, all who call on the name of Jesus shall be saved. Amen? Romans 10, verse 9 and 10. Y'all should know that by heart. And that's the way, if somebody asks you, well, how do you do that? I got saved. If I ask you, how do you know you're saved? You should be able to say, because I believe in my, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart. If a person said anything other than that, something wrong. Well, my mama got me saved. Well, my daddy's a preacher. No! I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart. Now, why, why, why? Remember, it's not about you, but God's glory. What do I mean? Moses asked to see it on Mount Sinai. It bellowed through the temple, leaving the priests too stunned to minister. When Ezekiel saw it, he had to bow. It enriched the angels. It starstruck the shepherds in Bethlehem pastures. Jesus radiated it. John behold it. Peter witnessed it on the Transfiguration Hill. Christ will return enthroned in it. Heaven will be illuminated by it. It golf streams the Atlantic of scriptures touching every person with the potential potential of changing every life including yours one glimpse one taste one glimpse one taste one sampling of your faith will never be the same what am i talking about glory god's glory and the way to seek god's glory is to pray and stop saying why 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 because why, why, why keeps you in your past for no potential for the future? And you do have a future with Jesus Christ. So why, 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 why not Jesus? He's the reason why we have eternal life. Accept him. Now, gentlemen, anybody want to be saved, and uh, come to the Lord Jesus Christ for the redemption of your sins and the pardoning of your sins. Uh, you can come right now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for that. All right? Is anybody in the room right now that is looking to get saved in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. We got one brother. Thank you, Lord. We just thank you in the name of Jesus. Y'all brother should be clapping over that. Remember, all the angels in, in heaven are rejoicing over this one man. And we should thank God for that. All right? Everybody grab hands and we're going to pray this thing together. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm saved. Hallelujah. That's it.
It ain't using a cuss word against the Holy Ghost. It's total denial of Jesus Christ. You're preventing the Holy Ghost from living in you. That's blasphemy. Amen? You just ask the Holy Ghost to come into you right now. Now, I bet you, when you start reading this book, and you should start at the book of what? What did I tell people they should start at? John. John. The Gospel of John. That's where you start, young man. When your private studies. Okay? Then you read every John after that. First John, second John, third John, in the back of the Bible. All right? Then after you read those books, now, just read them straight through. Don't try to stop and understand nothing. Just put it in your spirit. Then you come back and you read the book of what? What did I say? Romans. Why? Because Romans shows you you're a person of sin that's been forgiven. Then after Romans, you read what? Acts. Why? Because that's your history book. It'll tell you the history of the church. Right? So you read the Johns, then you read Romans, then you read Acts, and then you do not come out of that old, you do not come out of that New Testament until you go through the whole 27 books of the New Testament. So that means now you start from Matthew to Revelation without stopping. No stopping, read it through. Remember I taught y'all on the three ways of studying the Word of God? Amen. For him, it's called observation of the Word. Just read it through. Don't stop asking questions. Just get the Word in you. Because the Bible tells me, how can the Holy Ghost bring it back to your remembrance if it's not in you? Those who want to leave can leave. Amen. Class is over. I uh, just want to give a piece of scripture. Uh, Romans 8, 28 through 30. Right. Uh, uh, you, you don't know not how you ought to pray because you pray with utterance. Yeah, well, that's the uh, problem. Uh, right. It's, uh, no, it goes to uh, everyone is predestined. Huh? Wait a minute. 8, 28. Those who, can, those who want to leave class can leave. All right? Class can go. But those who want to stay, can stay. I got a few more minutes. I ain't in no hurry. I'm only going home. <laughs> uh, I ain't going to be here till 11 o'clock tonight. Um, Romans 8 28. Ain't that the one about you? You don't know how you want to pray. Is that Romans 8 26? I might be wrong. Yeah, that's Romans 8 26. Okay. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose. Right. Okay, what is his purpose? Yeah, no, no. It was brought to the best Right. He was already, God knew before the foundations of the world, you too, that everybody was going to come to him. Everyone. 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 The day he was born to you, granddaddy, great, great granddaddy, yeah. you knew he was going to be here. Same with you. Sure. Amen. 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 No, they don't come to me. You're going to have a test. Two on these books. Now I want you to read these books, man. Okay? I know I'm a little off on my little chart, but I feel like I help y'all to study better, if nothing else. Amen? Now anybody